Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. Now recently there was some new information on the dev tracker which was the conversion rates for your commendations and crystals. Now for those of you who might not know, when Knights of the Eternal Throne hits, all of your commendations and crystals will be immediately converted to credits because that whole system of getting crystals and buying gear with them is being removed and we have now Galactic Command. And so anyone who has leftover crystals will have those crystals will have those crystals converted to credits. These are the conversion rates. One Warzone Commendation for 50 credits, one Common Crystal for 500 credits, one Glowing Crystal for 1000 credits, one Radiant Crystal for 1500 credits. Now those are absolutely terrible conversion rates, I'm going to show you that in this video. However, also in this video, I'm going to show you the ways in which you can convert your Warzone Commendations, your Common Crystals and your Glowing Crystals to credits that will probably allow you to maximize the amount of credits you make. You should not even allow a single Crystal or Commendation to be converted to credits because you will be losing out. There are much better ways to convert them. So here we go. Now with the Warzone Commendations. There is a vendor, a PvP and Starfighter vendor on the fleet at this location. Now this vendor will give various decorations. Majority of them are PvP oriented and you can buy those decorations for Warzone Commendations and sell them on the GTN. I've done numerous videos on this. It is an absolutely amazing way to make credits because all it requires are Warzone Commendations and anyone can play Warzones. A level 10 could play Warzones and potentially make millions of credits before they even hit level 50. So you should go to this vendor and um, I don't really have the numbers for you in terms of how they sell because they definitely fluctuate on different servers. The prices of the decorations themselves when put on the GTN will fluctuate a ton. However, as a general rule, I'll use the Imperial Guardsman because this is one of the most common things that I've sold and usually it sells anywhere from 80 to 100k per decoration. Now this decoration costs 200 commendations and so right there, that's a conversion of one Warzone Commendation for 400 credits. So to reiterate, if I sold these Imperial Guardsmen for 80,000 credits on the GTN, I would be converting one Warzone Commendation to 400 credits. Bioware's conversion is one Warzone Commendation for 50 credits. You can obviously see that you can make tons more credits, get way more bang for your buck doing this than waiting for Bioware's conversion. Now aside from the Imperial Guardsmen, there are tons of other decorations to choose from. The best thing you can do is write them all down on a sheet of paper, run over to GTN, see the different things up on the GTN, what each decoration is selling for. Also experiment a little bit, buy a decoration here or there, try to sell it, see if it sells or not. And um, different servers will definitely have different prices and everything. And obviously to different populations right it's going to be a lot easier to sell this stuff on the harbinger or the red eclipse due to high populations than on like the bedroom colony where there's a much lower population uh, so yeah that's the advice i can give you experiment with it but definitely definitely you should spend your warzone commendations this way do not wait for bioware's conversion you're going to be losing out on so many credits all right when it comes to common data crystals there's two things you can do firstly there's a vendor right here on the fleet and this vendor will give you companion gifts uh, this vendor gives you rank five blue and rank 5 purple companion gifts. The blue ones cost you 5 common data crystals, the purple ones cost you 10. Now we'll use the artifact level companion gifts as an example. Now I can sell these artifact level companion gifts on the Harbinger for anywhere from 10 to 12,000 credits. Some of them sell for way less, but you have to know which ones to sell. Uh, for example, the Ancient History of the Korriban one, that one sells for like 12,000 credits. So if I sold it for 12,000 credits and I spent 10 common data crystals, that's a conversion of one common data crystal to 1,200 credits. Now that is way more than Bioware's conversion that they're going to give you, which is one common data crystal for 500 credits. You're making almost double this way. So definitely this vendor is accessible to everyone. So you should go here, convert all of your common data crystals to companion gifts and sell them because you're going to be making way more credits than if you waited for Bioware's conversion. Now the second method you can do, and this is not available to everyone, you're going to need access to Odessin because on Odessin there is a vendor at the Cantina, at the Odessin Warbase, who will give you legendary level companion gifts for common data crystals. So to have access to this vendor you need to have completed chapter 9 or 10 of Knights of the Fallen Empire or you could buy the Odessin uh, Legacy Pass from, which costs 200,000 credits and you can access it from your Legacy tab. So you can do either of those things and you have access to the base. Then you go there and you can use this vendor. This vendor will give you a legendary, compa a legendary companion gifts for 30 common data crystals. Now on the Harbinger these legendary companion gifts sell for anywhere from 80 to 100,000 credits as an absolute minimum, an absolute minimum. I have seen these companion gifts go up for 150k to 200k and even sell at those higher prices because they give so much influence. So 
uh, that's definitely the best way to do it because if you look at the conversion, let's say I sold a legendary companion gift for 100,000 credits at 30 um, common data crystals, that's a conversion of one common data crystal to about 3,333 credits. Compare that to Bioware's conversion, which is one common data crystal for 500 credits. You can obviously see that this is a much, much better way to make credits. So that is the second way. Those are the ways that I recommend. There are other things you could you could buy with common data crystals, but this is just what I personally recommend. Companion gifts tend to sell very well and very quickly. Finally, glowing data crystals. Now, Bioware's conversion is one of these for 1,000 credits. Once again, there's a better way to do it. Right here at this same vendor, you can buy exotic isotope stabilizers. Uh, these things cost 25 common data crystals and they sell anywhere from 60 to 80,000 credits. And once again, I'm dealing in pure minimums. Like I'm lowballing it completely. You can probably get them, or you can probably sell these things for way higher prices than what I'm saying in this video. But let's just lowball it and say 70,000 credits on average. If I sold the exotic isotope stabilizer for 70,000 credits, that's a conversion of one glowing crystal to 2,800 credits. Obviously, compare that to Bioware's, which is one glowing crystal for 1,000 credits. You're making a lot more under this system. So you should go ahead and spend your glowing data crystals this way, in my opinion. Once again, there are other ways to spend them, but this is just what I found to be the most profitable and the easiest to do. So, that's the end of this video. I just want to quickly show you guys how you can spend your Warzone commendations and your crystals in the most effective way that will allow you to maximize the amount of credits you make because Bioware's conversions are absolute crap, and you're not going to be making any credits under that. So, um... Definitely before patch 5.0 hits, because it, all this conversion stuff will be automatic. Before fa patch 5.0 hits, you should go ahead and spend every last crystal you have doing this. Um, otherwise, you'll be losing out on a ton of credits. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really hope you guys found it informative. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.